was already a long day here at the ballpark for Ron Gardenhire, and Lance Barkdale's strike zone didn't help matters this evening. Gardenhire took issue with that strike zone in the third inning and earned himself an early ejection and an early shower. So Steve Little handling the postgame duties tonight as we take it downstairs, and it's brought to you by Lina Kugels. Steve, just three hits for your team. What was the challenge offensively for your team? Well, they pitched pretty good. I mean, they don't throw very many balls down the middle of the plate. And the old saying, good pitching beats good hitting any day of the week. And tonight, uh, if you don't get the starter, they got guys in the bullpen that throw 98, 99 miles an hour with a lot of movement. And that's what you got to do to beat this team. You got to try and get their starters. What's the level of concern of the inability to get guys in in the clutch? You've left a lot of men on base in this series. Well, you know, that, that happens with young players. Uh, a lot of times they will expand the strike zone uh, in, in instances when uh, really the pressure is on the pitcher. But, you know, that, that happens with young players just trying to do too much. And that's part of the growing pains. But I think we've seen throughout the year our younger players that were here last year, how they progressed and how they're doing better. And again, it's just part of the process. A lot of times it takes 1,500 to 2,000 at-bats at this level to fully get settled in. You needed your starter to go a little bit deeper than what you guys have been experienced lately. Mike Fires did that for you for the most part, gauge his performance for us. He was outstanding. He did exactly what we needed. I think our starters, uh, other than Fulmer in Cincinnati, I don't believe anybody's gone into the fifth inning. And so that taxes your bullpen, especially we're in a stretch here with uh, 20 consecutive days. Uh, we needed Mike to do exactly what he did, and he was phenomenal. He pitched out of a couple of uh, uh, situations that, you know, they could add it on, and uh, he made them use the big part of the park, and uh, Leonis ran them down. Hey, Steve, can you add any insight at all what led to Ron's ejection in the third there? Or uh, I think they were arguing about the color of the drapes in the men's room. I, I, you know, they uh, obviously, obviously, when you're facing a team that is on a run like the A's are right now, you get very few opportunities to uh, put runs on the board. And he just thought in that situation that was a chance we had to put a run on the board. And there were a couple things that Ron saw that he didn't like, and that that led to me being out here to talk to you tonight. <laughs> How much of that frustration is, is compounded by an eight-game losing streak, too? Well, you know what? He's been in this game a long time, and, uh, you know, we've been through ebbs and flows. Uh, I would say it doesn't have any effect at all. It just happened th that the player needed protecting at that point in time, and a his point needed to be made, and... Lately, we haven't had a lot of chances to make any points. And so uh, that was the time that needed to be done, and that's what he did. Credit to the A's pitching for sure, but do you think there was some kind of a, a layover, a hangover from the from the drama earlier, the, the Basio stuff? I don't know of any drama that would have affected our game today. I mean, they pitched well, and that was what happened today. And, you know, we'll come back tomorrow, and, and uh, tomorrow's a new day. Do you think Jimenez will be available tomorrow? He pitched so many pitches. You know what? We're going to guard all these guys. And uh, I would say no. I don't think Joe's available. And uh, we're going to, we're going to, you know, we're, we're counting pitches right now. We're not necessarily just counting outs. We're counting pitches and outs. So uh, with that being said, we'll just see who comes in tomorrow feeling good. You know, Buck got up a couple times tonight. Those those things count. They count. Those are career, that's a career-high number of pitches for Joe Jimenez. He had 33 the other night. I think he had 36 tonight. And as Jeff mentioned, he's probably out. But is that a, just really good at-bats by, by Oakland to be able to follow off the number of pitches? They fouled off a ton of pitches, and they're quality pitches. They're pitches that are on the edge of the, of, of the strike zone, and they took pitches that were right on the border. So... Their team, they're built a little bit more uh, on on base percentage. They draft that, you know, and those guys uh, tend to work at bats a little bit different than some of the other teams in the league. Why can't you seem to get Jed Lowry out? When guys are hot, they're hot. I mean, you know, the baseball looks like a beach ball to guys like that, and he's just one of them right now. Thanks, Thanks Steve. You're welcome.